How's it going guys? Max here. So, how has what we've been coping for the past few months? Let's get into it. So by now, most of you already know about the US sanction. Um, yes, uh, US companies are not meant to be working with Chinese companies, including Huawei, on any accord. And um, for Huawei being a big company in China that uses most of its um, parts from the other American companies, this was a major, major hit for Huawei last year. Like, um, Huawei had to start handling the US sanction as fast as they could. They started investing well in their app gallery. Um, they started building their own operating system called the Harmony OS. They started doing a lot of things like trying to, you know, rehabilitate and not fall as bad as expected. Because, I mean, when you're a company and you don't have accessibility to all your parts, including your chipsets. It's kind of very, very hard. So, don't get me wrong, Huawei is actually fighting back. I mean, the Mate 40 series actually sold out in seconds, despite the price of that phone, that's $1,100. Um, they actually had uh, the permission to actually start making their own carrying chipsets. In fact, it's rumored that for the Mid 50 series, they will actually be the first Android phones to um, have a 3 nanometer chipset that is the Kirin 920 or whatever they call it. Just as the Mid 40 had the first 5 nanometer chipset, that was the Kirin 9000. And um, many other things. Yes, they had um, permission to collect displays from Samsung. Their chipsets are already down. And the design which they've been creating for years is also good. So, all this is actually leading us to one place. But um, all this stuff actually didn't stop Huawei from having the mindset of not actually trusting American companies 100% anymore. So, what did they start doing? Huawei actually started creating their own ecosystem. Yes, just like um, Apple. They have their own operating system now, just like Apple has its own iOS. They now have their own Harmony OS. They have their own laptops. Um, their own, uh, let's say, speakers, boards, and you know, the ecosystem actually connects very well. Though it's actually a lot to ask to, for especially an Android user, that's a former Huawei user, to actually enter the ecosystem without Google services. Um, it's hard, Shabo. Huawei, little by little, they are actually making it a thing, especially with their ad gallery. They have invested so much in their app gallery, they even had to sell Honor so that they can make up and um, have enough money to build this ecosystem in a way that it can carry the company forward, not just um, keeping them aside or taking them as just one other smartphone company. No, they still want to make their presence felt as Huawei. Huawei still wants to be Huawei. Wait, all these things I've actually been saying now is as if I'm just going to the good side. Well, there's actually a bad side of all this stuff. That's why the fact that Huawei actually got most of the permissions to um, get most of the parts that they need for their phones, their market share is actually going to be affected a lot. Huawei was at the point in 2020, Huawei was actually the best um, smartphone vendors, they were number one. Uh, but this year, because of the ban and because of the market share that they are definitely going to lose, Huawei is um, estimated to ship out 40 million devices as opposed to the 170 million in 2020. So, I mean, you can actually see what this is. And they are estimated to go from their second position, as they have been known for their second position for months and years now, they are estimated to be, you know, breached by companies like Xiaomi, Vivo, Oppo and they are expected to sit at number 10, that's at best, or let's say number 7, something like that. So I mean, the company is really going through a bad time now, but um, if you're loving this video, a sub to the channel would be marvelous. I know that it was never going to be easy for them, especially with the lack of Google services, but I actually believe that in time, Huawei can actually be the next Apple, even surpass Apple. Because I mean, this ecosystem is actually big and you can actually 
you know get your apps and everything even without the google services there are ways to actually do it there are many tips and tricks and if you're willing to go down that lane as a huawei fan you can definitely do it i'm even using a huawei budget phone so i mean i actually love the experience huawei is actually a great company very great company but this um us sanction actually hit them hard but like i've said before i actually believe that they can surpass all these things and still be the tech giants that everyone has known well all these are speculations of course give me your thoughts about it in the comment section subscribe and i'll see you next time see ya